Hi, Mike at Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I'm in the process of rebuilding this Rochester B uh, one barrel carburetor. Uh, Rochester B meaning it's a manual choke, a BC would it be a automatic choke. And uh, anyway, I'm getting ready to put it back together. I did a previous video on uh, taking it apart. But the first thing I want to do is I want to check and make sure the accelerator pump circuit is uh, uh, works as it should. And uh, it's going to go in, in right here, and this is the uh, the well here. And in the well you have, you'll see one hole in this one, and it will feed uh, up into here and uh, into the uh, main discharge, and then up and, and back into the venturi. Anyhow, so what I want to test is make sure that it flows here, and then I'm going to put the check ball in here and um, test to make sure that it's sealing like it should. So here's the uh, pump. Now when you get ready to do the assembly, um, I'm not going to do it right now, put a couple drops of oil on this that will help swell this uh, accelerator pump out. And these are leather and this particular, this, uh, particular uh, model is an early model. There's two kits, uh, this is an early model, there's a late model. A late model may have the uh, rubber uh, type of cup. Anyway, uh, you want to swell up. Uh, and also with these, uh, these are ethanol resistant because they're leather. Uh, the only thing about the leather is you never let them dry out once you get gasoline in here. So, anyhow, what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> question will come up, should a check ball be in the bottom of this? Well, no, there's only one hole. Uh, how do you know there's going to be a check ball? You would have two holes in here, one for uh, the fuel to come in and, and uh, and one uh, for the uh, discharge. And in this case, the fuel just simply slops over here. That's how it gets in there. So let's put some uh, uh, mineral spirits in there. That's what I use to test instead of gas. Don't really want to blow up my shop. I guess I didn't need to. I don't need to fill up the bowl so much. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this in, and when I push down, it should. You can see it's it's. So it is clear. If it doesn't do that, you got it stopped up somewhere. So now, there's two check balls in this kit, and the bigger check ball goes in the main discharge here. So we're going to put that check ball in. Now what I want to see is if does it seal. So I'm going to use a brass uh, drift punch here and I'm going to just gently hold it down, not real hard. And I should get a little pressure, which I do. I get a little pressure on my accelerator pump. And no fluids coming out. Just slight amount, no problem. But, okay, so see there without pressure it comes up. So the check ball is sealing like it should. If it doesn't seal, uh, if you don't feel pressure, you get fluid out through here, uh, just take it and uh, uh, just lightly tap it a couple of times so that to seat it with the hammer. Don't hit too hard. You're going to get it stuck in there and never get it out again. All right, so uh, since uh, we're here, uh, go ahead and put the new spring in here. And our little T. I see somebody actually turned it the other way. They probably couldn't get it to... Wait a minute. Yeah, it should go in this way, I think. Alright, it goes just like that. Okay, you just want the T to be held down a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to get my punch and, and uh, um, you know, there is some indents going the other way. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. All right. You just want enough to hold down because the top and the gas is going to hold it in there. So uh, make sure that's fairly flush. So that's all you, that's all you need. All that is there for is to keep the spring in there and, and the ball down. The spring will keep the ball down. So there you go. That's how you test your accelerator pump. We can do that before we put it together. So uh, now we know the accelerator circuit works. Okay. And uh, we'll continue on with the rebuild here in a few minutes. Thank you for watching.